Go for it. Okay, so this is the magnetic hysteresis experiment. Uh, so this experiment is in the electromagnetism uh, topic of labs. And what you're going to be looking at in this experiment is you're going to be measuring the magnetic hysteresis of an, a core that's in the middle of this uh, solenoid or torus here. Um, so the torus consists of two coils of wire. So a magnetic field will be induced by the primary coil. And then you're going to use a measurement of the secondary coil to work out the hysteresis of the core that's in the middle of the solenoid. Uh, and so first we're just going to talk about how the field is induced by the primary coil. Uh, so it's already set up, so you can see we've got a power supply here, uh, and this multimeter is measuring the current um, across a resistor. And so by varying this voltage regulator here, what that will do is it will vary the output of the power supply, and that will change the current that is flowing through the primary coil. You can use the current in the primary coil to work out the magnetic field that's induced by that coil. And so that's the magnetic field that the core is going to experience. Um, so I can show you that now. So if I start increasing the voltage of the supply here, you'll notice that the current that's flowing through the primary coil increases. And so that is changing the magnitude of the magnetic field that's being induced by the primary coil. Um, then what is happening is there's an integrating circuit here, which consists of a resistor and a capacitor. And this is what is being used to measure the response of the secondary coil um, to the primary coil and the hysteresis in the core. Uh, and that is being displayed on the oscilloscope over here, uh, which I don't think it's very clear that you can see at the moment. So we're just gonna cut now and show you a close up of the oscilloscope to show you what's going on. Okay. Okay, so now we're looking at the, the output of the oscilloscope, which is uh, what the actual measurement is going to be uh, in your experiment. So you can see here, there's not much being shown at the moment because there's no voltage being applied, so there's no current in the primary coil. If I now increase the voltage, you can start to see a hysteresis loop is appearing on the screen. Uh, and then if I further increase the voltage, you'll see at some point it starts to saturate and you start ending up with the little lobes on the edge. Um, so what you're seeing here is you have the x-axis is the uh, a measurement of the voltage drop across the resistor um, which is being used to control the current in the primary coil. So that is related to the magnetic field that's being induced by the primary coil. Your y-axis is the uh, voltage drop across, oh sorry not the voltage drop, the voltage measured across the capacitor which is connected to the secondary coil. Uh, so this is related to the field that's being induced in the secondary coil. Um, and so as part of your experiment, you're going to need to relate the area of this hysteresis loop from the data that's collected to the power that's dissipated. Um, and this will tell you about the hysteresis that you have. Um, so the way that's done is you have some pre-work that asks you to relate uh, each unit of your X and Y voltage to uh, either the induced field or the, the remnant field. Um, and so you'll need those conversion factors to convert one unit of area, which would be a square on the oscilloscope screen, into a unit of energy that's dissipated. Cool.